about a day in D.C. as Democrats stay on the House floor after the House adjourns for the July 4th holiday. They want to vote on gun control legislation following the mass shooting in Orlando. Eyewitness News reporter Justin Finch is live in the CBS Sat Center with more. Justin. Jim Brooke, House Democrats have held that sit-in for more than 15 hours, broadcasting online at points even after chamber mics and cameras were shut off. Lawmakers say they were able to make a down payment on ending gun violence, and though the House is now adjourned, Democrats are committing to moving the gun law issue forward, even as their GOP peers are digging in their heels. House will be in order. Though House Republicans tried getting back to their legislative business. It adjourned to meet. They were stymied by Democrats' unprecedented sit-in on the House floor, where lawmakers shouted down House Speaker Paul Ryan and demanded a vote on the no-fly, no-buy bill, which calls for banning anyone on terror watch lists from buying guns. But Republican Congress members disagree. We have something that's maybe a little, a little inconvenient in this country. It's called the Constitution. And what it says is you can't remove someone's right. We'll be here the whole night. We'll be here as long as it takes. Rise up, Democrats. Rise up, Americans. Led by Georgia Congressman John Lewis, lawmakers took over the chamber shortly after noon Wednesday. Newtown, Garola, Charleston, Orlando. What is the tipping point? Are we blind? Speaker Ryan calls the sit-in a publicity stunt, adding that there will be no votes on gun legislation. We're not going to take away a citizen's constitutional rights without due process. As the sit-in continued inside, demonstrators gathered on Capitol Hill. Inside, work came to a halt with frustrated Republicans leaving the chamber. The C-SPAN cameras, which were rolling, were shut off, so Democrats used social media to broadcast their proceedings. Radical Islam! Democrats dug in deeper as the night wore on. If you don't think the bill is right, come down here and tell us why. And despite that sit in the House was able to take up a measure on Zika funding, how the House Speaker mentioned that lawmakers plan to review that issue as well as a veto override legislation. The House is set to reconvene on July 5th. No word yet on a timeline for a gun control measure. Jim Brooke, back into you. Thanks a lot, Justin. We're going to be following along and seeing what happens next. Indeed, indeed. Thank you.